Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are a finance and accounting professional, you might have already come across the aging analysis. One of the most common aging analysis is the analysis of outstanding receivables, which is also called accounts receivable aging report. Accounts receivable aging report is a report that includes the unpaid customer invoices. Companies want to track and follow up on the money that customers owe to the company and they use accounts receivable aging report for this purpose. Aging analysis helps to prioritize the efforts in recovering the outstanding amount from the customers. Hence keeping in mind the importance of aging report, let us learn how to calculate the aging in today's video. Here is a sample data set which has sales date, customer ID and product. Remember these are the customers who haven't paid the amount after purchasing the product. Hence we want to track them and prioritize our follow up in recovering the money from them. All right. So with the help of sales date we are going to identify the total aging period. Again we are going to bifurcate this total aging period into years, months and dates. All right. Now what is the function or formula that we are going to use to calculate the aging? The function or formula name is dated if. Let's go ahead and calculate the aging in years. Let's put the formula is equal to dated if. If you have observed already when I started typing dated if the Excel did not prompt anything. That doesn't mean that Excel doesn't have this formula. This formula does exist in Excel and you can make use of that open bracket. Now this formula basically uses three parameters the opening date, the closing date and the type. When I say type whether you want to have the aging in years or months or in days. So for now we want to have it in years. So let's go ahead and select the dates. So the starting date is my sales date comma. I want to calculate all the days from the beginning of sales date till today. So how do I get today's date automatically it's using a formula called today type today open bracket close bracket that will give you today's date comma since I want the aging in years I have to open inverted commas and type Y close inverted commas close bracket hit enter I get year as one let us use the same formula to calculate the aging in months is equal to since we are calculating the aging in months now instead of Y let us select M hit enter 15 right. So the product in the row number 3 that we sold on 22nd January is aged 15 months. Let's put the same formula and calculate the aging in days is equal to now instead of Y or M now we are putting D. D stands for days. So now the aging in days is 478 alright. So if you really want to calculate aging only in days, you can simply use this formula. But if you want to bifurcate it further and want to have it in years, months and days, then you can use this formula with a little modification. What is that modification? So now column D says it's aged one year and column E says it's aged 15 months, which means it is ideally aged one year and three months, right? So instead of 15, we want to have only 3 here. How can we do that? You can do it easily by inputting Y just before this M. So instead of M, it will become YM now. Hit enter. Boom. You have 1 year and 3 months now. In the same way, you can calculate it only the days after 1 year and 3 months. How do you do that? Repeat the same process, but instead of Y, now put M. All right. Hit enter. Now you may ask why it is YM and why it is MD, why it is not same, right? So it simply follows the hierarchy. What is that hierarchy? It is year, month and date hierarchy, right? So if you want a full year, just select this one. If you want year and rest of the months, select these two. If you want to select month and rest of the dates, select these two. Hope that is clear. Drag down the formula till the end. Here you have the aging details. Hope you enjoyed today's video and learned how to compute aging. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel so that you continue getting notifications whenever a new video is posted to the channel. Until my next video, happy learning.